Hello everyone, today I'll be walking you through how to register the Moss 360 app in Microsoft Azure. You can use this app registration for secure mail and conditional access. We have an essential document that you can find in the description of this video. I recommend opening this document in a different window. We will be copying URIs from this document frequently. Start by navigating to your Azure portal so that we can get a unique app client ID. Go to Microsoft Intra ID, App Registration, New Registration. For the name, you can enter anything you'd like. In the Supported Account Type section, select accounts in any organizational directory, multi-tenant. For Redirect URI Platform, select Web. Then add the URI shown here. Next, click on Register. Here's the application ID. But before we copy it to our Moss 360 portal, we must add more redirect URIs based on the type of devices you will be managing in your portal. Click on the link next to redirect URIs. Then click on Add a Platform. Next, click on iOS, Mac OS. In the bundle ID, enter com.fiberlink.moss360 for iOS. Then click Configure. Then, done. Next, scroll down and click on Add URI under iOS and Mac OS. Add the following URI. Next, go to Add a Platform, and under Mobile and Desktop Applications, click on Android. Then, copy and paste the package name and the signature from the document I mentioned previously. Click Configure, then Done. Next, go to the Android section, then click on Add URI. To make it easier to see, I added the section from the document they will be using on my screen. Add all the package names you see here and the signature hash. The signature hash is static. Next, go back to Platform Configuration. Click Add a Platform. Select Mobile and Desktop Application. Add the URI that you see here. Now, under Mobile and Desktop Application Redirect URIs, add the following URIs. When you are ready, click Save. Next, navigate to API Permissions, then click on Add a Permission, find and click on Azure Rights Management, then select Delegated Permissions. Keep in mind that this application needs access to the API as the signed-in user. Check the box next to User Impersonation. Next, go back to Add a Permission, then click on APIs My Organization Uses, select Device Registration Service, add the permissions provided here. Now, click on Add a Permission, go to Microsoft Graph, Delegated Permissions, add the permissions provided here. Last, click on Add a Permission, go to SharePoint, Delegated Permission, add the permissions provided here. When you're ready, click on Grant Admin Consent for MSFT. Then click on Yes. The integration is complete. Like and subscribe for more helpful videos.